Okay, can you please introduce yourself? Mm. Um, my name is Andrew McCallum. I'm the CEO of the Association of Children's Welfare Agencies. What is the role of the peak body at a time of change and when there is a need to manage sector risk? Um, at a time of reform, both in transition of out-of-home care and legislative changes, offer the opportunity for change to consider what is needed to build a service system that we want. Managing critical instances is a noted risk arising in the course of transition and requires individual agencies, executives and boards to develop strong policies and processes for managing risk. What are the governance considerations for agencies and the likelihood of the need to manage a critical incident at some point in their service delivery? All the regulatory bodies would actually put governance as one of the highest risk factors for the non-government sector. Strong governance structures across the ACWA membership are needed to secure a reliable NGO sector. We need to maintain and build on the confidence of government in managing the risks that are intrinsic to this vulnerable population. ACWA is undertaking a number of initiatives to single the importance of governance to members and boards. These initiatives reflect ACWA's role as a peak body in fostering a sector-wide culture of strong governments and a time when there is growing community expectation of the sector's capacity and operations. Our training arm, CCWT, governance tools and training have been made more accessible to boards by introducing online training. How can heads of agencies prepare for the media and public attention when a critical incident does occur? This is not a comfort area for many agencies and uh, dealing with the media is problematic if there is not good training and organisations do not have good communication people within them. As the um, transition uh, continues, this will become more of an issue as more of the children will be in the non-government agencies. ACWA has undertaken work to develop four key messages to reinforce a consistent positive narrative of the non-government sector's role in the changing child protection system and reflect where ACWA sits within this. These key messages are highlight of overarching priorities and central work of the non-government sector when engaging with stakeholders and responding to the media. These messages have underpinned ACWA's media and communications activities in the lead up to the state election and will continue to do so into the future. Agents can also use these key messages to demonstrate a strong united voice advocating for better outcomes for children, young people and families in New South Wales. And that's it. Thank you very much. Okay.